welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Collective, I'm doing your reading. This is going to be a reading. I don't even know what this is going to be a reading on. I guess I want to start with the um, uh, the sexual energy that's going on. Root chakra energy that I've been going through. Um, it's been building. I don't know if it's summer love. I don't know what it is, but... It's just been on me really tough. So I want to see what's going on in the collective right now. And this might not be your situation. It could pertain to you. Definitely, if you view my channel a lot, I'm intermingling in your energy. So just take it as it resonates, if it does resonate, or for when it resonates. I'm trying to find my sexual uh, magic tarot deck, but I don't see it up here. I was back over there. Okay, whatever. I'm still going to go forward without it. All right. Spirit guys, please protect me as I intermingle in these energies. Allow me to observe, not absorb. I am grateful for your guidance. I do want to let you guys know that I did get some sleep. <laughs> So I've been resting for the last couple days. I feel rejuvenated. I feel much, much better. And I've got a couple readings to do on some information that has come into my awareness. But I want to get this reading out of the way while I'm still in the fun <laughs> mood. Because the other energies that I was picking up on are not that great. So let's go ahead and get this sexual energy out of the way and we can move forward to the other readings I do want to say that I really appreciate you guys for all your support all your likes your comments subscribing to the channel I never expected this channel to be growing like this <laughs> I just wanted to start using my gift to try to help as many people as I possibly can even if it was just one person so I am much appreciative of you guys support and energy exchange all right we got oceans bravery so yeah there's definitely a lot of emotion right now i feel like people are taking chances in love whereas before maybe people have been getting the wrong idea about love um people have been um not really focused on love. Everybody's just been having a hot girl, hot boy summer, whatever. But I feel like things are starting to get back more emotionally involved here. There is definitely some type of switch I feel happening at this time. We got magic. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is exactly what I'm feeling right now. It, it, it is a very sexual magic. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, what else, Spirit? What else? Oh, they don't want to give me another one. Okay. And then we got storms coming in. I'm taking that one because it kind of flipped in my hand a little bit. At the bottom of the deck, we got bush fires. <clears throat> okay so that's talking to me a little bit about jealousy and see this magic energy is what I wanted to talk about in my next readings but I'm, I feel like there's a lot of alchem alchemical processes that are going on around us right now there's a lot of change that's happening and people aren't even aware of it and it's so funny that the storm card want to come out because yesterday it was almost a storm where I'm at. So I love storms. It's like the energy and the frequency that comes from them is amazing. I love it. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out which deck I want to use. Please help me understand why this oceans card is here. So I'm hearing Aphrodite in my head. 
We got Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, which goes back to that energy that I was talking about. People have not been, you know, real relationship friendly these days. It's been a lot on, you know, polyamorous relationships, people not really wanting to settle down, people just in and out, very fleeting energy. There's been really lack of commitment, I'm feeling. We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse coming out. Maybe people have been dealing with a lot of issues of codependency here too. I feel like this energy is just like there's been a depth of emotions and fear when it comes to commitment, monogamy. And things of the sorts. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Pentacles coming out. The King of Pentacles is the husband of the tarot. He is the loving father, the committal type. He's in it for the long run. He's stable. He's financially secure. He is supportive. And not to mention a baller. <laughs> I'm getting that Kevin Gates song, Money Long. Money Long, but my dick longer cell phone. You know, I don't know why that's coming through. But yeah, this is going back to that energy that I was talking about. We got Pisces energy here. There's been fear of, I feel like fear of people's fear in their emotions. Feeling to even get in touch with themselves on a deeper level. Show me this magic. Now we got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Hmm. We got Justice coming out. And we got the Star coming out. So this is going back to that change that I was talking about. Um, I'm getting like we're going to start seeing a reemergence of the family dynamic possibly. Or, you know, I'm, I'm getting that old school love. I don't know why that's coming through. But it's like something's going to be really magical about that. People are starting to realize that they, they do, and not only they want, but they need that family foundation. They need that strong family structure. I feel like this has a lot to do with the era that we're coming into. Where it's going to be, and I feel like this is something that's happening on a spiritual level, on a on a genetic level even, that we're starting to become aware, even if we're not con consciously aware, that there's a change happening and it's going to benefit us and our survival if we come together in a more fam family dynamic. We got the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is the King of Wands is somebody who's preparing for battle. This is somebody who's going to be going after what they want. The King of Wands is actually a warrior. <sighs> wow. How fitting. So with this Justice card being here and the star being here with magic and the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is also the wife of the Tarot. She is in something for a long time. She has wisdom. She has nurturing abilities she's a mother she's a strong-willed person um she's she's very wise and determined as well she stays the course and i feel like this justice card is basically just saying that this is the energy that's being put out and coming back reverberating in the universe Okay, I'm hearing that song, and I still got to tell you to slow it down, because we don't got to rush another day. I don't know what, it's Casey and JoJo. Don't you make love in the contemplate. What I'm trying to say is take love slowly. 
Y'all know I can't sing, but that's what's coming through. I ain't heard that song in forever. Okay, we got the nine. We got nine, nine, nine on the board. This is talking about completion. Something reaching a culmination point. Okay, this nine of wands can sometimes talk to me about surrendering. It's like not not letting yourself go to the point where you can't get back up. You're you're surrendering to the point like, look, I can't continue forward like this. Something has to change. Something has to be different. Yeah, there's a cleansing happening right now. And it's because of some alchemical change that's taking place in the universe right now, and even on a cellular level. And I'm also getting two different dynamics with that, but I'm going to go over that in another reading because that's not what this reading is for. This reading for me is like people are getting back to love. That is what I'm seeing here. We got the Knight of Wands. Yes. Oh my God. This is so crazy. People been going through the storm of being fleeting when it comes to romance, when it comes to love. People been all up in their goddamn feelings. Like I'm not going to love nobody. I'm scared to get hurt and I'm just going to be for self and all this other stuff. It's just been very fleeting Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands is the player of the tarot. Everybody knows that. This is somebody who is non-committal. This is somebody who rushes in and out of relationships. Don't give a fuck about nobody but they sell. Very passionate at times, but not committal. Non-committal. And I feel like people are surrendering to understanding the storm that it was like a whirlwind. We got judgment at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So somebody didn't understand the assignment. And I feel like it's coming back around. One more spirit. That King of Wands. I want it to come out. We got the King of Wands. A lot of fire energy over here. This is what I was feeling. That, that uh, root chakra energy. King of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Which is further telling me there's a lot of water and fire here on this board. Um, basically, on these two sides, it's telling me the two spectrums of where it's been. People have been too emotional in situations. People have been too fleet, fleeting in other situations. And this magic in the middle is like it's transforming it. It's transmuting it. It's alchemizing it. That's exactly what this card says. Alchemy magic alchemy and things are getting back to stability here things are going to start balancing out this 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 is the wish the, this is the wish this is the hope this is what's supposed to be taking place i'm also getting ancestral messages here from this card and it's speaking mostly to me about balance Let me go ahead and get some uh, clarifications. Because I'm very concerned why this King of Cups is in reverse. This is what I'm really worried about. It's in reverse. I feel like this has something to do with the divide. And now the divine is coming and stepping in here. That's what I feel like. And it's, it's about to be a storm here with this king of wands, but it's like in love. Like that's exactly what I'm getting. It's like a, things are gonna get back to the basics is what I'm, what I'm really getting. And it's gonna have to. This has a lot to do with trust. This has a lot to do with you know, um, companionship and survival. 
with that family dynamic that I'm and I feel like that's what's being activated right now, especially on a cellular genetic level. Show me this nine of swords spirit. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles coming out. Being alone, being on your own is going to bring in a sense of there's going to be a lot of overwhelming senses of um, not being able to make it. It's like, mm -mm. show me this eight of cups. We got the chariot and the five of cups. People are going to be rushing back to the past. They're walking away from this, this fleeting, non-committal energy. They're going to be going back to the old ways. That's what I'm getting. Which for, for me is like more family oriented, group oriented. And then we got strength, courage coming out with the nine of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, people are dropping their singlehood. I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming people are getting into uh, polygamy relationships, which is where we're going is, I guess that's okay. It's a group dynamic if it works for you, but mostly people are getting back to the family oriented ways of doing things, realizing the benefits of that. We got the queen of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. I want to clarify the storms card and the ones underneath. Show me this king of wands. Uh, we got the nine of swords and the world in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. With this energy over here, I'm getting like, because we got the Nine of Swords again, which is talking about fear or anxiety about something. And the world in reverse is talking about just an ending, not a renewal, not a leveling up, not a successful completion, just a completion. Give me one more on this King of Wands. Three of Wands. Now we have the Queen of Cups at, in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'm getting like there's definitely been some type of mission or agenda, I'm going to say, to keep separation. That's exactly what I'm feeling here. This is, what's, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. If you're not following what I'm saying, it's like we've all been corralled into this reality of like, okay, it's okay to be out here you know, being with everybody, not being for nobody, being for the streets or labeling people for the streets or having hot girl summers and all this other shit. Very non-committal, non-family oriented energy has been what we have been corralled into. I feel like that's transforming. And people don't, people might not even be realizing that it's something that's happening on a cellular level, on a genetic level. This is for people are going into survival mode. That's what I feel like. And for some, some reason, this is bringing back those feelings of, um, home, family, love, deep connection, trust. Cause that's what's going to be needed. Show me this King of Wands. Our Knight of Wands, sorry. The Five of Swords coming out. 
yeah this shit is giving people a headache <laughs> this is it's like it's selfish this is a really very very selfish energy right here this is somebody out for self just doing them you know trying to win at all costs and really not even knowing who they are what they want just very fleeting selfish energy yeah three of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck breaking people's hearts and not really realizing how that's really affecting them on internally but this is this energy is being cleansed man i feel like there's about to be something that happens that's gonna force this issue even more we got 23 43 and 30. Knight of Wands. The magician wanted that, that magician wanted to come out. So we got the magician here in the upright. Which with the magic card right here is further telling me that something's alchemizing here. And this is for this is changing. And it's like it's in the air. That's how people are gonna start seeing it. It's like it's in the air. Y'all, there is definitely something happening here, especially when it comes to children and continuing legacies and stuff like that. There's some people have been afraid or fear is being, it's like two different things is happening. Fear is being bestowed upon people like, no, don't have kids, you know, have hot girl summers instead. And I'm not just focusing on the women, but you know, that's the only thing that's coming to my mind is like, cause it's been so predominant in the culture um hot girl summer and all these role models talking about you know get money and fuck feelings and all this stuff that is definitely changing it's like a course correction is what just came to me course redirection actually show me the star card spirit yeah that, man <laughs> Oh my God, didn't I tell y'all I feel like the ancestors are here guiding us? It's like they're they're working their magic. They sprinkle it, baby. Sprinkle it, baby. They is working. And this is Hierophant is here. This is talking about spirit, higher power, source. With the star card, I felt that. I really did. I felt that. So yeah, we, we are being divinely assisted right now. Somehow. Y'all might, I don't know if y'all believe that or not, but I, I feel that. I feel it. We have the Ten of Swords here, which is going back to the feeling that I was getting that this cleansing that's about to happen with this storm is going to be a wake-up call. Something is definitely coming to an end so a new beginning can happen. And now we have the King of Pentacles here. And the Sun. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, that's that new beginning. And it's getting back to the old ways of commitment, family, family structures, lineage, I'm, I just heard something's about to break. Something's about to break. Show me this justice card, spirit. It's like it want. It, it's like what I wanted to say is that something's got to give, but instead it said something's gonna break. We got the the um, emperor coming out here. So yeah, the divine I feel like is stepping in here with these alchemical changes. Um, taking control over this situation to help balance things back out. I also feel like there are other influences that's trying to keep things out of balance for personal gain. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all, If y'all watch me, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to hold my tongue about nothing, especially when I know, see, and feel it. Show me this queen of coins. So it's like humanity was being directed in one way. Like I was saying, do you be single, be free, be fleeting, be non-committal, be uh, every fucking thing but family oriented. That was by design. And now spirit has its own design. Spirit is leading. And oh, man... There's two bright points on both of these cards that look like a star at the top of both of them. 
And it's like they're guiding. That's what exactly what came through to me. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on right here. Oh, because there's still another message that I can't readily pull out with that King of Wands. Show me the um, Queen of Coins. The Knight of Wands coming out again. Let me grab that, y'all. Who we got the Knight of Wands on the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like the Knight of Wands over here is telling me, and I never do my readings like this, like this middle energy, I feel like this is, this is looking at the future and both of these are the past, but on, on two different aspects, two different sides of the coin, I feel like, and this is the future coming in. So over here, the Knight of Wands is telling me that people have been selfish and wanting to go to a more fleeting energy, more um single energy more non-committal energy and now it's like with this alchemical change people are going to be rushing to get to this committal stage this committal family dynamic and at the bottom of the deck we got queen of cups in reverse so we got the king and queen of cups both in reverse I feel like this is what we didn't see because usually at the bottom of the deck is what you don't see coming or what you don't see, period. I feel like our emotions being played against each other is what we didn't see happening. The illusion. This magician, the manipulation, which was meant to weaken us, make us surrender. Wow. Wow. I hope you guys understood that reading. I don't know if I was being clear. I feel like I'm a little rusty coming back after not doing readings for a while. But I, I promise you guys I needed that rest. And I really appreciate you understanding that and being patient with that. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. So I, I'm being called to get into the deeper stuff. This is already touching on it. But I'm getting called to be getting into the deeper stuff. So I have more messages for you. I wish you, I hope you'll stay tuned and I wish you guys the best.